Welcome to Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana as your Green Bay Packers play the Indianapolis Colts. This could be a Super Bowl preview. Both teams are playing very, very well. It's week 11, so let's see how it goes out. J.K. Scott kicks it off. Neil for a touchback. Packers are 9-0. Colts are 8-1. Here comes Phillip Rivers. And the Colts for their first drive of the game. Rivers hands it off. It's about three yards. Hines. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Second and seven for the Colts. They're going to run again, and Clark is going to get through the middle and stop him for a loss. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. Clark gets through the middle. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. It's third and ten for the Colts. Early third and ten here on their opening drive. Man coverage for the Packers. Rivers looks back. And Rivers is going to be sacked. A loss of 14 on the play. Packers make the Colts go three and out. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd Boots to this one up. hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd that is scandaling goes. He makes a move. He's sounding about the 49. And here comes Aaron Rodgers and the Packers offense. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here. Start off with some run play today. So here are the Packers now with great starting field position. Here goes Rodgers. Rodgers back. Got hurt in the, in the last game against the Jaguars. Jaguars hands it off to Jones, who also got hurt. Jones gets five yards. Did they acquire enough pieces to help their all-star quarterback, Aaron Rodgers? Just think about the last two years for him. 51 touchdown passes, just six interceptions. And We're going to keep it on the ground right here to Jones. Season wins last year and a trip to the NFC Championship game. He stepped one of the top quarterbacks in the league. And the Packers are to Jones. To take the next step. Jones gets the first down. Down at about the 35. To a first down, at the be a first down for the Packers. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So many times, someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year. Once again to Jones. Play didn't work as much as it normally does. There to stop him was Darius Leonard. He's tackled at the Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take it. Rogers in a shotgun with Jones on the left. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to stand on schedule on offense. Tavana Scandley, that's a first down for the Packers, 10 yards. He has another first down at the Colts' 22-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down, Packers. First and 10 for the Packers on the Colts' 22. Minute 57 and ticking here in the first quarter. Rodgers drops back, fires across the middle for Valdez Scandling. And he is down at about the six yard yard line. First and goal for the Packers. And another first down. First and goal from the six. Rodgers to Jones. It's about three yards. As he takes it from the six to the three yard line. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Here we go. Rodgers shots back. Second down and goal. Rodgers. Across the middle. Throws it away. Yes, he was about to be sacked. We're going to go double. Third down and goal for the Packers. Tavana Scandling caught touchdown. And the Packers strike first here at Lucas Oil Stadium. 
Scantling, his second touchdown on the season. And the Packers have taken the early lead. Here comes Mason Crosby, snap spot kick up and good. Packers lead seven to nothing. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just gonna stop them. Great drive by the Packers there. Took their time downfield. They also told them how it was going to happen. They're gonna run this, we're gonna stop it. Then we're gonna take the ball, they won't be able to keep up with us. And J.K. Scott kicks off. I'll be in the end zone for another touchback. Taken about seven yards deep. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Second drive coming up. So here we go. Here comes Phil Rivers to the Colts. Three and out last time. Kenny Clark up to the line a couple times. Kenny Clark up to the line again, but wasn't able to get there. But I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you. That's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be at the end today, but we also know it's not ending today. So they've got to continue to play the type of Rivers in a shotgun. Them in the spot where they're number one in the conference. Draw play. This is Hines. I had like three opportunities to get him there and couldn't. So it's first and ten for the Colts. First down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. And he gets around him. He's down at the 44-yard line. As that's the end of the first quarter. The Packers lead seven to nothing. Sports. So it's first and ten for the Colts on the Packers, 44. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and ten at the 44. -yard Rivers line. looks, and that ball's picked. And, it's and the Packers get a stop. It it's Kirksey. Field to the 45-yard line. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and ten at the 45. Rodgers to Jones. Three yards. And Wagner, the lineman, is hurt, even though he's up and walking around. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Three yards on that last carry. Rodgers in the eye with the tail back on the left. Rodgers drops back. Throws to Ada, or that was Vada Scanley, and he's got a block. He's at the 20 to 15. Inside the 15 before they drop him. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. And there's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Now a draw play. This Jones. This will be stopped. Down at the six yard, yard line. Marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Hand -off Offensive here. linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also I'll breaks bring tackles the and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Shotgun now for Rodgers. No one's incomplete. That's gonna wind up incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it. So it's third and two for the Packers. After the incompletion, here now third and two. Working from the gun. Rodgers is hit as he threw. And that brings up fourth. Fourth down, we're gonna go for it. Example, trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. The offense staying out. We got an audible right here. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And deflected, and it'll be first and ten for the Colts. Packers unable to pick up the first, and the Colts are going to take over with the football. All right, here goes Phil Rivers to the Colts. Those fourth down plays, defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big here goes Rivers in a shotgun. 
Rivers looks, fires, he's caught. He's down at the 19 yard line. He'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19 yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So here's a first and ten. Rivers again. Looks. Try and set up he the makes a move. Lines. And he's down at about the 35 yard line. And the Colts have got something cooking right here. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the pass Clock is ticking. 226 left here in the first half. Going back the other direction. Rivers looks. Fires across the middle. And he slips up past the down at the 47. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Uh, I just need to start playing so man coverage. Because I, I know they're going to start to throw, so if I can get single covered here, whoever's going to get a snap off before the two minute warning? No. So we go to the two minute warning of the first half. The Packers lead 7 0. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress. Around Rivers the looks, gets it off to his halfback. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. No gain, and it's second down. Now the Colts moving quickly. They're going to go no huddle right here. Second and ten for the Colts. Rivers goes to the sideline. He's got Jack Doyle. He is down at the 47 of the Packers. No huddle once again. First and 10. Or third and four. And he's going to get there and get him sacked. Smith. And the Packers are going to take a timeout. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. As he'll kick it away. Sanchez comes in, boots it away. That ball's gonna be in the end zone for a touchback. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So Aaron Rodgers and the Packers have got a minute 11 to get somewhere in the field goal range. Maybe get Mason Crosby up for a field goal. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You gotta push it whenever you. That is scandalous. No huddle. No huddle. No huddle. Points with the high-powered offenses that you face, and analytics will tell you. Try and score when given the opportunity. Savannah scandaling an incomplete. Type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you only can go for big yardage. Just third and down for the pa or third and one for the Packers. Second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. He's got his man. No huddle once again. We're gonna keep going with no huddle until we need the two timeouts. Before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Rodgers to throw once more. Oh, and the ball's almost picked off. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. I got the shell across, across, across the middle. Second and ten. See, maybe Devontae Adams will get open. Across the middle. Ben is getting caught. No huddle once again for the Packers. Going to try to go with slants here quick. See if we can get into Crosby's field goal range. And timeout. Good field management by the Packers. With three seconds to go. And of course, they're in field goal range in the final seconds of this first half. So here comes Mason Crosby. The field goal unit to see about getting three points from the left hash. This from 46. Snap spot kick up and good. And the Packers lead 10 0 at halftime and receive the ball for the second half. Should be an interesting second half. Packers lead 10 0. All right, so we are back here for the second half here at Lucas Oil Stadium. Packers lead 10 0. Ben Scanley comes out. He can stand up at the 26 yard line, and that's where Aaron Rodgers and the Packers will start for the second half. 
six yard line. So here are the Packers now to take over. They are working on that very impressive nine game win streak, looking to get it to 10 as they've got the lead here, first and 10. Roger to Jones. Jones gets about a yard. And he'll be second and nine for the Packers. Seven yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Go to that zone He's split right here. Yards to go on second down from the 27. At the 27 yard line. To so Jones again. Got a little bit of a gap and gets five yards. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control. So it'll be third and three for the Packers. Taking their time and making it work. We're going to see. Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Rodgers in the gun. Rodgers. Cross the middle, caught. Devin Funches. He will have a first down here at about the 40. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. So first and ten for the Packers. To Jones. Jones has got a gap on the left side. Right side, my bad. That'll be a first down for the Packers. Run game is working today here. Jones makes a move. He gets down up at the 27 yard line. This Packers offense is cooking today. Last two plays, they moved it a combined 33 yards. A gain of 19 yards. And the Packer first down. Rodgers. Jones. Another first down for Jones. Second and right at a yard. With a handoff to Aaron. The last run game is working for the Packers. Second and a yard. Very, very well. A gain of nine. Brings up second. The first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams gets a rush and he gets seven yards in the first down. The ten at the eleven. Down at the eleven yard. Now a first and ten at the eleven. First down, Green Bay. Rodgers now drops back. Rodgers. To Williams. He gets down to the four yard line. Five at the four. Seven, seven yards on the play, and that'll make it a second down at the four yard line. We're gonna try QB second draw right here. On the three, first down marker at the one yard line. Rodgers gets through, Rodgers in, touchdown! Touchdown scamper. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Aaron Rodgers with a QB right. draw. Increase their cushion. And the Very Packers lead. Very precise. 16 to nothing. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. Snap spot kick up and good. The Packers good lead over the Colts 17 not nothing. Pulling the way, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Here comes J.K. Scott to kick off. The kick -off unit is oh, out a the little bit bad of a we'll kick. This one, away. this one taken at the goal line. First touchback by Scott this year. Or not touchback by Scott that this year, I'm pretty sure. Or one of one that doesn't happen very often, but... 128 left for the Colts in the third quarter. Currently getting shut up by the Packers. Rivers. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. I start blitzing right here. We're gonna bring the pressure to Rivers. Start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Off the play fake here, Rivers. Rivers is going to be sacked. Pressure and down he goes. Zadarius Smith in there to get him, and on the season, Smith nine sacks. Second sack of the game. The league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. And that sack leaves Rivers in the Colts with a third and long. Third and long for the Colts. 
The pass underneath. Here's Hines with it. And Makes the move, and he's going to be brought down short. The 31-yard line. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Colts are going to punch it away. And here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. Here's the punt. We're just going to leave that. We're going to let that go. That ball is going to get... Down at the one yard line. Darn. Well, the Packers take over at their own one. But now it's just a lot of run the clock out, run the ball. So, as long as Aaron Jones, or yeah, Aaron Jones can hold that ball in his hands, the Packers should be able to walk away with a win. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five yard line. He was taken down. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. Just a little bit of shoe clock. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stack. Here comes Jones, gets to the middle, down at the eight. It's going to be third and three for the Packers. For the guys on offense. Yeah, they're just about standing on their own. Guys, keep running the ball right here. Maybe Jones can bust a big one. To Jones. Jones. He's going to move short. First down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a Packers down. defense will come back out. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Here comes J.K. Scott. Plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Just going to let this clock run down just a bit. What I like is that you can hold the X button. They only punt it twice Three seconds. Win last week as he gets this one away. Big hit stick! It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Colts will go on offense here. First here we go. Rivers and the Colts. 256 left. They're down by three scores. They need to score quick here. They will throw from the gun. Not get the job done. He gets about uh, he's tackled a yard nine yards. Good gain of nine on first down. Here goes Rivers. One. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Catch made here by Campbell. And now fumble! Lewis, big gain, but a fumble. And the Packers pick it up. And the Packers recover. This return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this and that's definitely going to seal it for the Packers. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, "Yeah, this has been a banner day." Absolutely. Still Jones still again. Zero. Good day for Jones. 15 rushes, 97 yards. That's actually going to take us to the two-minute warning on here in Indianapolis. Up. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jones once again. Two minutes remaining. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Jones. The Jones with a nice burst. Down to the 47. As he'll be taken down, but not before a gain of seven yards. He hits the, hits the century mark for the day. Seven on first. Here's second and three. Seven brings up second and three. They'll go again to Jones. And they Jones gets hit revenge there. big time. Way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beat. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. Third and three for the Packers. This probably be the last play of the game. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On third down, here's Jones. And Jones. He's got a first down and then some. Gets it down to the 38, and that's more than likely going to do it here in Indianapolis. It's a gain of 16 and a first I'll down for the Set it up. Goal. Well, we'll go one more. Jones, just get the run. First and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. Double. And he'll take this for a short Zeros on the clock. The and your Packers will walk game. out of so Lucas Oil Stadium a with a 17 to nothing win, a shutout, and what could easily be a Super Bowl preview. So once again, the Packers beat the Colts with 17 to nothing. Shut out for the Packers defense. Great game.
Uh, as you can see, next week we play the Chicago Bears. And if you look at the standings, you can see the Packers have six games left and have a five game lead over the Bears here. So if the Packers beat the Bears next week, your Packers, and I can't believe I'm saying it, only in week 12, your Packers will officially be NFC North champions and will have a division title. So hopefully we can go and beat the Bears. It's at Lambeau. It's going to be a really, really game, good game. It's Monday Night Football. But we'll just have to see how that one plays out. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, Go Pack Go. See you guys next week.